The built-in shelf, this is a side view, and there's a ceiling above. So the roof detail will fit in above this built-in shelf. I'll start off by putting in the main body of the roof detail, and that will be a two by four cut at an angle on top. There'll be a longer piece on top of this two by four, and that'll be supported by a shorter piece underneath. I'll have a series of three slats And on top of that will be three layers of cedar shakes. When installing, I like to start with a groove side against the wall, and I've set up a little demo to show why. First piece is snug against the wall, groove facing the wall. For the last piece I install, I'll cut out the bottom of the groove. That way it fits snug against the opposite wall and drops right in. It's easy and looks professional. This is the 2x4 base with the angled cut. This long piece sits on top. And then the short piece sits underneath for support. Each of these represent the slats that tie the structure together. Then the three layers of cedar shingles will finish the roof. The first one is 10 and a half inches long, second is seven and a half inches, and the third is three and a half inches. I've applied two coats of dark stain and a wipe on satin finish to all the pieces now. As well, I picked out and cut to length the cedar shakes I'll need. The shakes have been sitting outside and have a nice weathered look. I'm also glad I made a few extra spare pieces as I've decided to go with six trusses instead of five. 